everyone, I'm Anya and I have a couple of quick CSS tips for you on how to improve the way Divi elements are being displayed on mobile. Uh, first, I would like to show you a page layout I created recently. It's a wedding announcement page. It uses the new dividers feature of Divi, which is very fun to play with. But the section I would like to focus on is this one. If I resize my browser window, you'll see that it will scale nicely for smaller screen sizes. The text gets centered and this image, even though it's in the second column, is being displayed as the first one. So that's uh, really nice, I think. Let's try to go ahead and recreate this section. Okay, uh, I will use the blank page template and we'll try to do it in the visual builder. Okay, so for the first section, let me move this on the side. Um, let's change the background color. Okay, we want two columns here. Image on one side. Mm, our bride. Mm, okay, first let's uh, change a few things in the design tab. First of all, in order to make the image round, we want to change the bordered, uh, border uh, radius to 50%. Our image needs to be square for this to work. We'll add 10 pixels white border around it and some nice uh, box shadow. Something like that. Let's make it a bit lighter. Okay. And uh, let's uh, change the width of image to 75% and then for tablet let's make it smaller like 55 or even less 45 and a bit bigger for smartphones okay that looks pretty good and now the text module Let's make this an H2 and this, let's say, H5. Um, we'll put the body text to the second uh, um, text module so we can control the spacing between those two elements better. But first, let's change the, the font. Mm, the font I used in the in the happily uh, page layout is called um, Norican. Oh, it's already here. Um, let's change the size to something bigger and uh, maybe 32. And like this. Let's change the color. Okay, and the the subtitle it's railway font. Let's make it fifteen pixels uh, on both desktop, tablet, and smartphone on each. Uh, let's make it per case. And a different color. Okay, that looks good. Great. Uh, now the second text module. Let me 
just paste some text here. It's too long. Okay, and let's change the font to railway light 17 pixels and maybe less for smartphone, smaller. Let's change the line height. Mm, and that's it. That looks good, I think. Uh, the image is aligned left right now. Let's make it center align. Okay. And let's add a social follow module here. Works. I won't match the design exactly as it's on the my uh, demo layout. Uh, you can download the layout from my website, so you have the same. Uh, styles. I just want to show you the mobile CSS tweaks, not the styling part. So let's save that. One last thing I would like to change is to add some spacing here from the top. So let's try with top margin of 40 pixels. Yeah, that looks good. And now we can duplicate this row, move the modules, and I would like all these elements to be right aligned. So let's change that. second text module and the social media follow as well okay let's maybe change the image okay great let's uh, see how that scales for smaller screen sizes by default when I resize my browser window, you can see that this doesn't look like we would want. Uh, the image should be before the text here, the same as for the bright. So let's, let's change that. We can add a simple CSS to switch the columns order on a mobile. Let's add a custom class of reverse columns mobile to the row. Okay. And let's add the CSS media query to our custom CSS for this page. Let's save that and see that worked. Great. Now uh, the next thing we would want to change is to center align the text module and the social media follow. So another bit of CSS, the custom CSS class of center text mobile. We can add it either to text module itself or the parent element like a row or section if you want to target uh, multiple elements at once. So maybe let's add that to our row settings. And this one as well. You can add multiple classes by uh, just uh, put the space 
in between and you can have both okay and uh, custom CSS is pretty straightforward it's just um, text align center with the important row let me copy this part add that inside the media query okay let's see great that looks much better i think you can copy the css uh, as well as download this page layout from my website the links will be in the description thanks for watching and see you next time